In this tutorial, you will learn how to use a web part setting called Audience Targeting. This setting limits the display of page content to a select group of users referred to as the audience. This is not a security feature. It is basically a filter being applied to page content. Even if someone is not part of the selected audience, they will not be prevented from seeing the content if they know how to get to it, which I will demonstrate later in this video. For this demonstration, I will be working on the IT page. On this page, there is an internal task list that is only relevant to the employees of this department. So I will use audience targeting to make this task list only available to IT personnel. When a non-IT user views this page, the task list will not be visible. When identifying the audience for this web part, I will be referencing a SharePoint permission group. To show you that group, I'll go to Site Actions, Site Permissions, and there's a group called IT Users. And this is the group of people who should see the task list. We have three people here, Kevin, Pam, and Stanley. So I'll return to the IT page. And to apply the audience targeting to this internal task list web part, I start by going to the web part drop down menu and select edit web part. And the tool pane displays over here on the right. I need to expand the advanced section, scroll down to the bottom, and here is the audience targeting section. To select the IT users group as the audience, I'll click the browse button. In the Find drop-down here, I choose where I'm selecting my audience from. I can select from Global Audiences set up in Central Administration, Distribution or Security Groups from Active Directory, or SharePoint Groups. And I'm going to be selecting from a SharePoint group. Then I click in the text box next to that and type in the name. Just IT Users. There's the group. Double-click on the name puts it down on the add box here and then I'll select OK. So now the IT users group is identified as the target audience. I'll choose OK. Now I am not part of the IT users group so you'll see when I refresh this screen I will no longer be able to see this list. So now that I've refreshed the screen I cannot see the task list because I'm not a member of the IT users group, even though I have the permission level of a site administrator. However, if I choose All Site Content, which lists all the list and libraries for this site, I can get right to the internal task list from here. But if I return to the IT page where the task list web part resides, I cannot see that web part. So as I mentioned earlier, this is just a visual filter. It is not a security feature. So next I'll log in as one of the selected audience members, either Pam, Kevin, or Stanley. Let's go up to the menu here, choose sign as a different user, and I'll log in as Pam. So now the task list displays and you can see I am logged in as Pam. And next I'll log in as somebody from the sales department, not IT. This time I'm logging in as Andy Bernard. And just like myself, because I'm not part of, or he is not part of the IT users group, the task list does not display. If Andy goes to all site content, he still has access to the internal task list should he want to see it. So just to demonstrate again that audience targeting is not to be used as a permission tool. Its purpose is to make the page content relevant to the user viewing it. For information regarding SharePoint security permissions, please see the video titled Working with Users and Permissions in the SharePoint Foundation set of videos.